welcome to Clarksville Montgomery County Public Library. This is our craft time. Today we're going to be making a dog or a puppy. And this is going to be a puppet. It's a paper bag puppet. He likes to talk. So what you'll need is a printout, which we have a link to this. It's a free printout and you just click on it, print it out, and then you have something to work with. If you don't have a printer, take a look at this. What you could do is draw it. You could draw two eyes, two ears, a mouth that almost looks like a bone with a little half circle underneath it, a tail, a tail can look like anything, a tail, and then two paws. Now the printout of this only comes with one paw, not quite sure why. So I just drew another paw to look just like the first one. So there you go. So if you don't have a printout, you can just draw it yourself or you can print it out if you're able to do that. So today, what we do is we color it first. So I'm going to color my dog. I'm going to go brown because I like brown dogs. So his ears are going to be brown and I'm just going to color quickly, but you can take your time and you can be creative. You can make pink ears. You can make, I'm going to make pink in the middle of my ears because you know, sometimes the inside of the ears is a little bit lighter than the outside. So I'm going to make pink ears on the inside. And then I think I'm just going to leave the eyes the way they are. I tried coloring them blue one time and it didn't turn out as well, I don't think. But if you want to color your eyes blue or green, you can do that. And then I'm going to color the mouth brown too. Remember, you can color whatever color you like because being creative is the most important part of all of these things. All of these crafts are all about your creativity. And I'm going to color a brown tail. I'm coloring everything brown. You know what? I think I need to switch it up a little bit. I've got all these colors here. I'm going to put a little purple in the tail. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. And then I'm going to color the paws brown again, but then I'm going to add some more colors. I know when we've had uh, craft together, you guys are so creative and I love seeing everything that you come up with. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more like you and be a little bit more creative with it. And I'm going to put some green in the paws because he's been playing in the grass. So he's got a little green on his paws. Okay, so here's my little guy. He's all colored. Now we have to cut him out. So you'll need some scissors for that. So if you're not allowed to use scissors, ask somebody who is allowed to use scissors to cut these things out for you. Now I'm gonna cut mine out quickly, but you can take your time. Here's my first paw. And remember, you have to draw the second paw on there and it can just you can just actually just trace the first paw and draw it around. So you have two paws because most dogs have two paws. Some don't, but most do. Got my two paws cut out. Now I'm gonna cut out my purple tail, my purple brown tail. I like making puppets because after you're done doing your craft, you have something to play with. And you can make your puppet talk. And you can try to talk without moving your mouth. So the puppet looks like he's talking. I'm not very good at that though, so I don't think I'll attempt that. But some of you may be very good at that. So I've got my tail and one of my ears cut out. I'm on my next ear, which I put the, perp the pink inside and a brown outside. And if you want to color it where it looks more like fur, you can make a little bit more um, like spiky. 
spiky kind of marks to make it look a little bit more like fur. Just be super creative because that's the thing about this. It's so much fun. Okay, I'm getting one eye cut out. Now my cutouts are not perfect. And again, like I've said before, that's okay. Nothing has to be perfectly round or perfectly cut out. It just has to be fun. And I'm having fun because one of my favorite things to make is puppets. And it's so easy with a little paper bag. Okay, I have all of my little pieces cut out. Now we're gonna put them together. So you need a paper bag. You know what, and, and if you don't feel like cutting out pieces, you could just draw on your paper bag. Two eyes, the mouth, and make that your puppet. But since we're doing this craft today, let's go ahead and put together our puppet. Okay, so we want them to look like that. What do we need to do first? I think we need to put the eyes on. So let's give him some eyes so he can see. Need some glue. Just stick glue. I like stick glue because it's not super messy. So we're going to put the two eyes on. Kind of right in the middle of the paper bag, of the top part of the paper bag, like that. Now I'm going to put on the ears. Now if you've done the cutout, they're a little oddly shaped. So you can put them on like that, or you can put them on like that. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to get my ears on there. And you could try it out. You could take a look. Do I like it like this? Or do I like it like this? Does he have his ear turned in? It could be any way you like it. He could have a little floppy ears. So I'm gonna put my ears right up here like this. So I've got my ears on there. Oh, I put glue all the way to the end. You might just wanna put the glue right here because you'll, you'll be sticky back here if you put it all the way to the end. So there's my dog so far. Now, this is going to make it really look like a dog. Here's his mouth. That really looks like a dog mouth. So we're going to put this on. It's his nose and his mouth and his tongue hanging out. Now it really looks like a, a dog. Does that look like a dog? That really looks like a dog now. But he still needs his paws and he still needs his tail. So let's get the paws on. My paws are a little long here, so I'm gonna cut off the top part here so they're just like little paws hanging out. And I'm gonna make them the same length. So I'm gonna just cut those together. Got two paws. Put some glue on the back. Glue on the back of my paws. All right. So here's my puppet. What are we missing? We're still missing one piece. What is it? The tail. Dogs need tails, don't they? Some dogs have big tails. Some dogs have little tails. This is a big long tail. So I'm putting the glue on the front of the tail so it'll stick to the back of my puppet. So I'm gonna push down really hard, make sure that it's stuck. And here's my puppet. So let's see how he looks. So I put a little bit too much glue on his mouth and it's stuck to the bottom part. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel that up so he can move. Got my puppet. Can you say hi? Hi. How are you? That's the craft for today. You can practice with your puppet now too. Be creative and have a great day.